If your region experiences a dry spell, you can still enjoy the beauty of your yard thanks to the many drought-resistant plants, trees, vines, and flowers. You may save time and money by using these plants in your garden. Plus, there are varieties that thrive in nutrient-deficient soil, so you may not even need to use fertilizer. Here are seven of the best drought-tolerant plants. Number one, aloe vera. Unless there has been consistent rainfall throughout the summer, aloe plants need to be watered around every two weeks. They don't need to be watered as much in the winter because the cooler weather and rainfall supply all the moisture they need. If you have an aloe plant in a pot, you should let the soil dry up entirely in between waterings. Zones 10 to 12 are ideal for this plant. Number two, beer tong. About 250 flowering plant species can be found in this genus, all native to North America. They are adaptable and may thrive in a wide range of environments. Beer tong plants are easily identified by their clusters of tube-shaped blooms atop stiff stems. Hummingbirds and bees will flock to your yard thanks to these plants. From hardiness zone three to eight, Beer Tong thrives. Number three, fountain grass. This popular ornamental grass can reach heights of around three feet and forms clumps of slender, arching leaves that are a purple red. In the summer, flower spikes rise above the foliage, further enhancing the plant's aesthetic appeal. In full sun and with average soil moisture, fountain grass will be darker and glossy. Nevertheless, it can tolerate moderate drought. The hardiness range of fountain grass is zones 9 to 10. Number 4. Geranium. In spite of their name, geraniums are not actually shrubs, but rather low-growing mounding perennials. They're also a plant that can survive for decades without any signs of decline. They also happen to be one of the simplest plants to multiply from cuttings. Zonal hardiness zone 10 and 11 geraniums. Number five, kangaroo paw. The stored sap in the roots of kangaroo paw plants allows them to thrive in dry, sandy environments. However, they thrive in bloom when the soil is kept slightly damp so water your plant if it hasn't rained in around two weeks. Grow zones 10 and 11 are ideal for kangaroo paw trees. Number six, lavender. Throughout the summer, lavender bushes blossom with magnificent spikes of bluish purple flowers. The first year of a plant's life should be spent with consistent moisture in the soil. After that, though, watering is usually only necessary if the top few inches of soil are dry. Grow lavender in zones five to eight. Number seven, Pride of Madeira. It grows in a mounding fashion, attaining a height of five to six feet with a spread of six to 10 feet. A rosette of long, narrow gray-green leaves will form in the first year of the plant's life. In the second year, it will send up tall flower spikes that are blanketed in leaves and dotted with flower clusters. This Madeira native thrives in zones nine through 11. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.